So I've been back now for about 10 days from seven weeks in Belgium, uh, volunteering on equipping a hospital ship with medical equipment. Fun-filled adventure. I'm glad I was able to do it. But now I've been back for about 10 days, and uh, this is one of my first assignments, is to get the chicken coop controlled as far as temperature. I never want it above zero, because then they get heat stressed or they get uh, frostbite when they go outside. So they've been in for a few days now because it's all 25, 30 below. Forecast for tonight is minus 37 to minus 38. So it'll be nippy tonight. The coop's well insulated. Uh, we have, are getting some frost build up. This is our chicken coop in the winter. Little pallet boards taken from old pallets. Roof box for four, and they share, you can see now there's two of them in there. That's unusual. Nope, oh, chase one out. Pecking order definitely exists. And lots of hay on the bottom. A stacking feeder here that feeds through onto the bottom there, and they get their food. Little treats off in the corner. My wife does like to pamper them. More treats under there for them to peck at. Just trying to keep them from uh, pecking at each other. She takes paper here, lets them poop it up, and then just rolls up the paper. Makes cleaning a lot easier. Well, we've got a little more airflow through here now. Hopefully, that takes care of the condensation that's happening, the frost that's building up. So, here's the problem we've got 10 hens in here and one rooster. And we're trying to keep them at about 10 below, which seems to be fairly good for them. It doesn't freeze their combs. Oh, you can see that one's got the frozen comb. And uh, so right now it's about 10 below. Anything above that, they seem to get hot. They seem to feel uncomfortable. Hang out on the floor and they're all spaced away from each other. It's about 30 below outside. You can't do it with the present thermostat. Right there. I'm going to try and adjust that. Make it work at a lower temperature. You can see there's some ice buildup. Ice buildup there. Say hello. So this is the thermostat here, which I've taken the cover off of at the moment, and the knob off of here. Underneath here, you can see there's a metal tab, and that puts the spring tension on this. And as this cools off, it compresses the switch, and then turns on the heat. So I want to get it lower range, so I've bent that tensioner there to make it so that it turns on at a lower temperature. And it seems to be working. I've adjusted it. Uh, it seems to, I can, uh, it looks like I can go to about 15 below before it turns on if it's minimum. So that should be, work out pretty well. We'll try it out. So now you can see it's 10 below in here. And I have some range. Doesn't turn on until roughly there. So try it about there. See what that does for it. You happy? Hopefully you're happy. Here in the old chicken coop. Got it controlled to about 10 below now. Celsius, of course. They seem to be doing okay. There's the switch that turns it off and on. And there's the thermostat controlling it. So that now, it, when it reads 5, it's actually about 10 below or so. So it seems to be working. There's the ladies all seeming relatively happy. One pecking on my boot after the snow. They seem to be doing okay. A couple of them have had uh, combs that have gotten a little frostbitten, I think. Uh, supposedly that falls off. This is our first year with chickens, and our first year, obviously, of winter time of chickens. Uh, one solution to a cold coop, apparently, is more chickens. And 
less coupe. But it's controlling now at 10 below. And it's supposed to go down to 38 below pretty quick, so that's probably just in time. Say hello, ladies. Most of them have names, sadly. Grandkids, you know, love to name animals. That preserves their life. <laughs>